So, this video is really not for y'all out there in YouTube land, but you can watch it. This hill, this is for my friend Brady Hill, uh, Brady Hill 01 channeler. Just, Brady just Hill, Brady Hill one. Brady channel. Hill one. Yeah. So he's been. I've got a superintendent that passed away today at four o'clock. He's been out. He had a stroke a couple of weeks ago, and so anyway, we've been behind lots of work. So Brady's been, Brady's been helping me try to try to catch up. And um, he's actually been making some videos too of some of the stuff we've been doing. So if you want to go over there, look up Brady Hill One. If I can figure out how to do a link, I will. So all right. So I'm gonna do a video on how to turn on this particular GPS and how to go through setting the base and stuff so that he can watch it in case I'm busy or I'm right here. So anyway, okay. So we take the data collector, push it for about a second let it do its thing come over here to the gr5 push the start button till it starts coming on so a hyper v topcon gps um you just turn it on on the same job you were on and you don't have to do anything but a gr5 you have to do something so okay so it comes up Alright, go down here, hit the top con signal symbol one time. Takes it a minute to come up. Alright, it's already on the job. You can hit data and make sure project is Harbor Freight Wayne Brothers. That is correct. This is a U.S. survey feed even though it's in South Carolina. It's your choice is U.S. survey or meters or feet and inches or international feet. So this one's US survey. So, okay, so now we're gonna hit set up GPS base station. Over a known point, base 01, that is correct. Next, you have GR5. Um, the antenna height is 0 0.980 because I have a battery stick that's underneath it and it's, and it's 0.98 feet tall. And so you plug that in and the, that keeps your batteries up. You don't have to carry a car battery with you. Okay. So then you say next. And your radios are already set. So you say next. There's all your satellites. Say finish. And then it asks you which one you want to hook to. So this particular one is base 851-1063. So you click on that. You say okay. started that's it that's all you got to do all right so we're done with that that what that did was that just told the base unit where it was at so that it can talk to the equipment into the rover all right so now we're going to take it to shut it off set up exit hold this down for a couple seconds there you go it shut itself off all right turn this off you push the button for the count of one, two, and there you go. And it'll shut itself off. And that's all you gotta do. Then you take it off. If you want, look, it's charging the batteries off. So GR uh, are pretty neat. They've got hot swap batteries. So there's two batteries. So you can actually take your base during the day and you can charge your rover batteries. That's what you're using. Off of whatever you're charging your base with. It's a pretty neat setup. But um, these batteries are couple of hundred bucks and they'll run a base oh about three days and then I got one on the rover here and it'll run a rover a day and a half same thing you just put your pole all the way down add to it and it just you're not swapping batteries all the time that's a hyper V that's just a lighter unit to carry around than that right there but they'll talk to each other it doesn't matter but anyway we've had issues out here utilities we got to have gas line marked in the morning i did want to treat that today but i don't always get everything that i want of course i seldom get everything that i want but anyway all right there you go that way brady anytime you need to go back there and look at it and go through it and then um well i could say i show you how to 
start that. But you know how to do that. You've done that. You know how to connect to that. Right? So, yeah. Anyway, we'll do that on another.